Um, is this something that you would like to see happen every year? And you're getting to know all of your neighbors, and so you won't be intimidated if you see some old man walking down the street. You probably know who they are now, right? Mm -hmm. well, that's great. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. Thank you. Now we're going to go over here and talk to a new neighbor. I heard that there is a brand new neighbor here in the neighborhood, and we're going to talk to them and see how they're enjoying this event. Ambika. Ambika. Sherrod. Sherrod. And Ram. Well, again, welcome to the neighborhood. And so, do you guys feel a little bit more comfortable now being in the neighborhood? We love it here. We love it here. We love it here. We love it here. What are the big things that you're enjoying the most about this event? Getting to know everybody. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's really not necessarily fun to meet everybody. And, uh, probably would have been an opportunity that you would have ever had a really good chance to meet them unless you one day needed some sugar, huh? Yeah. And instead of running to the store, you go knock on somebody's door, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to the neighborhood, and I hope you come back again next year. Sure. Absolutely. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and interview a couple more people and see how they're enjoying themselves. We're going to interview. Um, you know, I said it was about a dance <laughs> you are mouse. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, I want you guys to check out this spread that they have here. All of this food has been uh, contributed to the neighbors here at this fun event. But we're going to talk to Valerie here, who is the mother of not only a cute, adorable young boy, but twins, boys and girls. And they're out here in this cold weather. <laughs> Valerie, tell me uh, about motherhood again. Uh, how is it uh, raising twins now? Five times <laughs> what has been the toughest part of it? Uh, feeding, uh, changing diapers. What has been the most strenuous? Probably the lack of sleep. With three. <laughs> I'm sure they all get up at different times, huh? Yep. Oh, well, congratulations Thank to you. you. Yeah, now, this one is Adam. This is Adam. And then April is hiding. It's hiding. Daddy's trying to hide just like mommy was trying to hide, but we got mommy, okay? Well, thank you very much, Bob. And now we just heard a police car come. Let's see if these guys are in trouble, if they really have a license to do this block party thing. Or <laughs> I've been told that a bunch of uh, neighborhoods are doing this all over the United States. You to be good on I thought I In Fremont, there's about 120 of these going on just in Fremont itself. And how long have the people in Fremont really been You know, I can't tell you. I know I've been doing it seven years. Chief of the Chief of Police, Chief Steckler. Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm well. How are you? I'm fine. Well, tell me a little bit more about this event. Um, how long have you seen Well, we started at National Night Out. Now, is this publicized? 